Hello YouTube, and finally we're doing another Tiny's Return review, and today we're taking a look at the Deluxe Class Hardhead. You can see this is a Wave 1 figure. Um, I believe this it was released last year, so so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, now basically I have the other three um, figures that are part of the, uh, the the main four characters of the Japanese cartoon Tiny's... No, uh, Transformers the Headmasters cartoon that was that only aired in Japan. I believe it was aired in America here in the States, I think. I don't know, but all right, so, so, that, it, so that's that. Um, it does come with it does come with the figure, the a gun, Titan Master Furos or Duros, that's what he originally named, and a collector card. You see, we got this nice artwork going on. We got the head coming, the head's about to attach. His head's about to attach. Again, really nice artwork. And here are the stats. Of course, here are the red. Of course, here are the red bars being the hard head itself and the fur when. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. Um, is here we got. Um, we got hard head itself and then stats raised when the the Titan Master is attached. So. So he's gained. Uh, so he's he's got. So he's basically the strongest out of the four headmasters. The main four. So he's up to 14, so so yeah, that's that. Alright, so let's take a look at the Headmaster Furros or Duros. As you, can, as you can see he's got the uh it's got like a lime green color with some bait with some got some brown or something like that. Or I'm not sure what type of color in it this is, but got some yellow here. We got the sky blue visor. And it goes got sky blue eyes too, which it's kind of hard to see, but yeah, you can actually see it right there. And of course, all you do is you pull them like that, and there's the head of Hard Head. <laughs> there you go. And, and of course, oh, <laughs> okay, this does. Okay, that's pretty unintentional, but all right, it's it, this. It does pop off, at least, but you can't attach it. But all right, okay. And of course, furrows can sit in there like that with no problem, and it does fit in perfectly. So you can have Furrows controlling the Trans Tactor. Um, yeah, Trans Tactor is like a, a term for... If I can remember, the Trans Tactor is a Transformer term for a, a non-sentient being piloted by a small pilot. I might have, might have butchered that term up, so... <laughs> Alright, like a Trans Tactor. So this is basically Furrows Trans Tactor, um, the tank. You see it does roll just fine. So we got a bar wheel right here, and we got these two little wheels up here. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now the good thing, the only thing I will say, at least there's no wheels on these pieces because um, because these things don't like to attach. Like you see, you see it doesn't want to attach. It says it might because it might be because of a QC issue or something like quality control, but now it's not a huge deal. So yeah, and the gun you can actually store it on top. There you go, just like that. And yeah, that's pretty, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for the vehicle mode. Now, let's transform this guy. I'm going to move Furros off, or Duros, whatever you want to call him. I'm going to put him to a head for now. Close that. Move the gun. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so transform it. You can see there's actually a little um, little pin right there. I'm going to slide it out like this. So, so it was like that. Actually, I'm going to remove the cannon just to make it easier. So, I might as well slide it like that for now. Then go ahead and flip this panel up. The XL becomes the waist piece of hardhead. Then we go ahead and detach the legs, not like this. And we'll go ahead and fold this all the way up like that. So it's out of the way. And then you go ahead and swing the legs down. You hear they do snap into place. And fold the toes out. So now we can stand. Now we pan the camera up. There we go. There we go. Because there's actually two hinges right here. So we're gonna fold this down with the headmaster port, or Titan Master rather. And then fold this down. And you can see there is a peg right here that will go into this little hole right there. So like that. And from here, we can actually extend the arms. Oops, that was on camera. Like that. And do the same thing on the other side. And from here, you can see they're actually, these are actually going to be hands. 
since you guessed it, they're actually hands. So, yeah. so do the same thing on this side, like that. All right, then we can go ahead and just put the cannon on the back for now. Uh, there we go, slide that out like that. And before we put the cannon up like this, we're gonna have to attach the head, the Titan Master. So, there you go, it just goes in like that, and then we can put the cannon forward. And let's put the gun. There we go. So you have hard head in robot mode. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty faithful to the G1 toy. You know, in terms of color scheme and design. And that's nice. I mean, it's got the iconic shoulder cannon. Which, you know, of course, some Transformers have that. So, which is nice. And you might have seen it before. This can be stored on the back like that with no problem. And of course, you have, of course you have, it has a big can sticking up. So, <laughs> so articulation um, and just like every other Titans Return figure, I mean, he does have head swivel and it's on a ball joint. Shows can move all the way around, they can go out to the side. And of course, there's actually a double, there's actually a hinge right there because of transformation. Um, yeah. Of course, of course it, can, it can twist, you got bicep, and of course the elbow can bend. And of course, does he have wrist articulation? Yes, he does. Which is nice. No waist, artic no waist articulation because of transformation. And of course the legs can go forward, they can go back a bit, they can go back like that. Or if you want, or you have the cannon forward like that, they can go all the way back. <laughs> so, and of course the, it can, this can twist, this can bend. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's pretty sure for the articulation. So, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, oops, that was a bit crooked. <laughs> so yeah, so overall, I do recommend this figure. If you're a fan of the Headmasters cartoon that aired in Japan, or I'm not sure if it's, again, I'm not sure if that um, cartoon I just mentioned aired in the States. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Let me show off the collector card. Um, so yeah, if you're a fan, if you're a fan of Times Return or Hardhead, then get this figure. It's a really great return to the G1 classic. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. So next time, I'm going to take a look at the Deluxe Class Chrome Dome from Titans Return, which is the second um, second main character of Headma the Headmasters cartoon. So, I will catch you next time. Rolling out.